You spin me right round, baby, right round. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Start by hitting Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer. Or that would be Command and J if you've got loads of money to burn and you've got a fancy Mac. Then head up to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur. Set the amount to 10, make sure that the blur method is set to spin, and also increase the quality to best. Click OK and prepare to wait approximately three centuries while Photoshop sorts its life out. Click Add Vector Mask, then grab the brush tool. Reduce the flow to 50% and make sure that the foreground colour is set to black. Using a soft edge brush, dab over the face to reveal some of the sharp image underneath. Click on the bottom layer within the layers palette, then hit Ctrl and J or Command and J to duplicate the layer a second time. Go up to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Set the angle to whatever floats your boat and then set the distance to 200 pixels. Click OK. Add a mask for this layer, then repeat the same dabbing process as we did before to reveal the face once again. And that's about it. For further fun, you can always add a fancy high contrast black and white finish too. That way you can start casually wearing a barrier around the house and convincing all your friends that you're a real artist.